Hello, my name is Bob Stewart and I'm superintendent of Gladstone School District. We've created this presentation to share with you the two options we are offering students for this coming school year. You will hear from Sarah Duncan, kindergarten principal and director of the Gladstone Center for Children and Families, Michael Clutter, principal of John Wetton Elementary School, Heather Bailey, principal of Cracksburger Middle School, Kevin Taylor, principal of Gladstone High School. They will each take a few minutes to explain Gladstone teacher-led distance learning at each school. Following those four presentations, Jeremiah Patterson, assistant superintendent, will discuss the online option. We know you have many questions. We are trying to keep our frequently asked questions page current. Over the next 48 hours, there will likely be further updates to this page. We know this is a challenging time for our students, parents, and staff. This is new to all of us. We will continue to make this experience better for everyone. We learned a lot last spring, and we have used the time over the summer to explore successful distance learning models. Like you, we want our students and staff to safely return to school. We expect school to officially start for students on Wednesday, September 16th. The delay to the start of school will allow us to provide training, support, and planning time for our staff. Next week, look for announcements regarding distribution of Chromebooks. Let us know what questions are remaining once you have watched the presentations. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Hello, and welcome to the Gladstone Center for Children and Families. My name is Sarah Duncan, and I am the new principal and director here at the center. I want to officially welcome you to the start of the 2021 school year. And I also want to acknowledge the emotions and feelings about how different this experience is than what you imagined it would be for your child. I'm sure that many of you have driven by the center talking to your children with excitement and joy about what it will be like to start their first day of kindergarten. And I know that this experience is probably not what you imagined. And I just want to acknowledge that and um, empathize with you in that situation. I also understand that feeling being new to this role and this position. Um, it is not what I imagined. I will also tell you the resilience of children, um, the resilience of us all um, will continue to to inspire new opportunities and change and an incredible year of learning for your five or six year old. I wanna just share what you can expect from us this year. Myself, uh, our staff here at the center and the amazing team of kindergarten teachers that your child will be so fortunate to have this school year. Our goal, first and foremost, is to build connections with you, to get to know your family, to get to know your child, to understand their dreams, what they enjoy, uh, what they, who they love to play with, what they love to play with, and build on that to create an amazing learning experience. We will care for your child, even from a distance, just as we would if they were with us in a classroom, six hours a day for five days a week, we will continue to grow and care for the child that you share with us every day. And we will learn where your children are in all areas of development, and we will build off of their strengths and build off of um, what they bring to us and grow them from where they are as readers, as writers, as thinkers, as collaborators. Um, we will acknowledge that, assess that, and grow with what we know um, and who your child is. And finally, we will create joy. Even though we are working to figure out what that all looks like and how we can make that happen, this team of teachers is a brilliant team who collaboratively work together, who prioritize the experience uh, that they will create for your children across this comprehensive distance learning experience. We will prioritize um, our standards from the Oregon 
early learning and kindergarten guidelines. These will uh, be present in the approaches that we will have in working and teaching your child, prioritizing their social emotional development, language and communication, their numeracy and literacy skills too. And finally, a little overview of what you can expect the day to look like. Uh, this is slightly different if you joined me on Monday. This has evolved as I had shared, um, changes would be coming. And so this is a more accurate review of what you can expect for your child's school day to look like. Uh, as we shared earlier in a morning meeting, that's where all children will be uh, around the Zoom session with, your, um, with the teacher, the time when as a class they can connect, get to know who is in their classroom. We then move on to reading and writing instruction. Again, this is where you can expect a teacher to connect with your child around reading and writing instruction and very much based upon um, the lesson of the day and what your child uh, is doing in terms of reading and writing development. There will be short breaks in amongst these content areas so teachers can navigate the different materials they will need for instruction. We will then move on to math, very similar to reading and writing. You can expect a teacher to have a, a lesson to be shared and then working in small groups um, often to connect with your child uh, throughout, the, throughout that instructional block. You will get more specific times, likely for your child, as to what that might look like across that hour. And then in the afternoon, together, the children will have a read aloud experience. And then in the uh, later afternoon is when you will have a music PE or library experience for your child to participate. Again, as we get more details, those will sh be shared with you. But as an overview, this is what your child's day will look like in kindergarten. And there will be much support that we will share as to how to navigate the models of instruction we will be using, the resources, and the digital platforms. So please know all of that is coming and uh, we will be in communication often to share how that can look for you as a family and what supports you might need in order to log on, to be connected and to stay um, supportive of your child during this learning day. We so look forward to having your child. Um, we can't wait for the school year to begin. And as always, we are here to answer questions, to um, be your partner in this learning experience and we welcome you to kindergarten in the Gladstone School District. Hello, John Wetton Elementary families. My name is Michael Clutter, and I'm the new principal at John Wetton. I'm extremely excited and honored to be a part of John Wetton Elementary and the Gladstone School District. I have worked as a teacher and administrator for the past 18 years, and I consider the most important part of my job as an advocate for children. Even given these extraordinary times, I'm looking forward to getting to know you and your students, as well as a time when we can meet in person. I'd like to give you an idea of what teacher-led distance learning will look like for your student during the day. And we're working hard to create consistency and routines daily for your student. And looking at the schedule, we can see that the student's day will basically run from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. This schedule, the details of the schedule could be a little bit different for each grade level but I'll run through a basic outline of what the schedule will look like. All students will start with a morning meeting at 9 a.m., running for 20 minutes, and that will be a time to connect with their teacher, to plan for the day or for the week, and to work on social and emotional learning as well. There'll be a break during the morning as well for students to time to get and stretch. Then we'll start our academic blocks. Students will start with reading and writing, and teachers will lead a mini lesson and then there'll be a time in there for students to connect with their teachers via Zoom and work on the lessons that they were taught. There'll be another chance for a break and then we'll head into the math academic block 
And again, there'll be a mini lesson from the teacher and then a chance for students to connect with the teacher or staff to work on the mini lesson that was presented. All students will have lunch from 1140 to 1210. And then there'll be a chance for another stretch break after lunch. Students will then have a read aloud for about 20 minutes, which is uh, directed by the teacher as well. There'll be another break and then we'll head into teacher office hours. And that'll be a chance for families and students to connect with teachers via phone or Zoom and, and, and ask any questions that they might need answered, um, talk about lessons and any other issues that might arise. Also during the day, there'll be a chance for students to engage in music, PE and library. And those specials will be taught by the specials teachers as well. And those will be on demand lessons that students can access and then work on those lessons on their own time. As we work to make the, this unique situation normal, we are working to create consistency and routines like they would have during the normal school day. Attendance will be taken. We encourage students to participate daily and we will have behavioral expectations as well. Also, we'll be working to recognize students and celebrate students like we normally do here in the building. And that could look like virtual assemblies and classroom celebrations as well. Also, we'll be working on equity like we always do. And that will be a big part of what we do. And there'll be regular check-ins with students every day during morning meeting and office hours. We'll work to make sure that families are connected and that we'll provide a balance of live and on-demand style of learning. We also work on the student's social emotional learning as well during the morning meeting, as well as other times throughout the day. And then of course, parent communication and contact are still extremely important and critical for success. And so we we'll work to bridge those gaps even in the virtual setting. With all of this, we look forward to having you be a part of our teacher-led distance learning. Thank you very much and have a great day. Welcome to Cracksburger Middle School. My name is Heather Bailey and I'm principal at Cracksburger. And this is going to be a unique year as we're starting out with comprehensive distance learning. There are challenges, but with our plan of consistent live opportunities to meet with supportive teachers in both interactive classrooms as well as additional daily office hours, we're looking forward to having an excellent year. It'll take determination, motivation, and persistence on all of our parts to ensure success of every student who comes into Cracksburger. So let's take a look at what a typical day of instruction would look like for a student. The week starts out on Monday with students meeting in a shortened schedule in the live periods with all of their classes and teachers. This is designated to start the week with a check-in and to set the stage for the learning for the rest of the week. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, students have an extended period of time with classes one, two, and three. And then on Wednesdays and Fridays, they have periods four, five, and six. At the end of every day at a consistent time, we have office hours where your child can ask questions to a teacher and get an immediate answer to be able to, to continue with their learning into the evening. On Mondays, the class periods are shorter. They're 25 minutes each. And then the rest of the week, um, Tuesday through Friday, the classes are one hour each. The extended hour provides for discussion and collaboration, as well as um, greater time to learn the concept that's being taught. Homework and practice will happen after the class at the student's own pace, much like what happens at regular school. Teachers are going to be available throughout the office hours to ask to answer questions and provide supports for students. And so we want to make sure that we have a consistent routine schedule for our students. Our goal for spring and heading into this year is to be able to give the students a great education and an experience that mirrors much of what regular school is like. So this year, unlike spring, there's a, there's a couple differences. One is, is the grades count. So grades will be taken much like when we're in school prior to a pandemic. Also attendance is gonna be taken at every class period. And it's expected that every student attends unless there's, a, an excuse, or there's an excused reason for why they're not there. There will be deadlines for work and partition, participation and behavior expectations are going to be explicitly taught by the classroom teachers. 
focusing especially on how to be a appropriate digital citizen. There'll be student recognition assemblies and activities and clubs. We're hoping to continue um, much of what we had in our after school programming into a digital format as well to make sure that we're meeting the state and county guidelines uh, with the pandemic. Every day, students have the opportunity to check into their homeroom, which will include opportunities for connection points with peers, as well as social emotional learning, announcements, check-ins, et cetera. Also, we're hoping to continue um, assemblies and have distance events for the building and the community to keep that connection point throughout this year. As always, parent communication and contact are critical for success, and we hope that we build that into this upcoming year's schedule. Thank you again for partnering with us in your child's education. We look forward to seeing you this fall, even if it is only in a virtual setting. Thank you so much. Hey, welcome to Gladstone High School. My name is Kevin Taylor. I'm the principal. This is going to be a different and unique year. If you're a returning student, welcome back. If you're a new student, we're happy to have you in our Gladstone family. This year is going to be challenging with the distance learning, but we have a broad selection of classes, supportive teachers, high expectations, and we are doing live, real-time, face-to-face classes with schedules and office hours. It'll take some determination, some motivation, and persistence on everyone's part, but we will ensure you have a successful year. Now let's kind of look at what a typical week would look like. On Mondays, students would be going to periods one through five, and then there are office hours available. On Tuesday and Thursday, you'd be going to periods one, two, and three. On Wednesday and Friday, you'd be going to periods four and five and also have a college and career readiness class along with social emotional learning. And then let's really look at it in even more close detail as far as times go. On Monday, you're going to all five periods, but you are having basically a half hour long classes. This gives the teacher the ability to set the week up and get you off to a great start every week. Also gives the teacher availability to check in with you and kind of see how your weekend went, see if there's any problems, and then be able to move forward with the lesson. So this is really the jump off point or the starting point. On Tuesdays, again, you're going to be going through periods one, two, and three, and then there are teacher office hours. These periods are a little longer. They're about an hour long. That gives teachers the ability to offer new material and lessons, have some discussions and um, some participation, help you out with homework if you need some, and um, really lay the groundwork so then on the days you don't have these classes, you'll be able to finish the homework, and if you do have problems, you can still check in with office hours. On Wednesday and Friday are periods four and five, and then we do have the CCNR, which is our college and career. We're tackling this, so we have still have those future-focused availability. We're also going to be talking about um, the school culture. We're going to be talking about social-emotional learning. We're going to be talking about equity and anti-racism, so that part is also very important. And as a reminder, with that and those smaller cohorts, you do actually get a grade for that and you also get credit for that. So it's gonna be important that you also show up there. Tradition is really important at Gladstone High School. So we're going to try and make this unique year as normal as possible. Um, we're going to try and clear up some of the things that weren't quite as definitive last spring. Grades are going to count. We're going to go back to A's, B's, and C's, so grades are going to account. Attendance is going to be taken every day and every period. There are going to be deadlines for uh, student assignments, and also there are certain expectations about participation, especially in a distance learning environment, and we'll also have behavioral expectations that are necessary as well. Student recognition has always been important at Gladstone High School. So we're going to continue our uh, policy and our procedures and our fun of student recognition. We're going to try to insert some activities and we are also going to really try to keep clubs rolling. An example is Key Club doing service activities or meeting GSA so kids have an outlet to talk about what's going on in their lives. 
the college and career readiness. We were going to continue with those. And I just said, we're going to cover all sorts of different things, not just college and career during that time period. ASB is working hard to possibly provide maybe some distance assemblies, maybe some distance events for engagement so students feel like they're still a vital part of this school. All of this is going to need to take place with lots of parent communication and contact. That's going to be one of the most critical parts for your student success um, and we are going to do everything we can to make sure all that happens. Um, we're looking forward to everyone getting back to work getting your educational plans and your future plans back into gear full speed. Um, make sure you're checking your student emails, the district website and other district communication for more details. Thanks for listening for this brief moment and have a great last few days of summer and go GLADS. My name is Jeremiah Patterson. I'll be talking about the online only option Gladstone School District is offering for the 2020-21 school year. This option is being offered for families with health concerns or scheduling concerns. To increase flexibility for families, we are allowing enrollment to change both into and out of the online option at each trimester break, but only at each trimester break. The curriculum offered through this option is delivered entirely online. Gladstone staff will be assigned to support students and families. The number of staff assigned here is entirely dependent on the number of families who choose the option. The primary role of our staff in this option is to maintain a sense of connection, both to a student's peer group and to the larger Gladstone community. Daily online meetings will be non-academic, much like a morning meeting at the grade school or an advisory or homeroom setting at the secondary schools. Gladstone staff will also assist families and students navigating the online environment, provide feedback on student progress, and make adjustments to the content being delivered. Parent-teacher conferences will take place regularly. The online option is a program called Schools PLP, a program we've been using for the last two years at Gladstone High School for credit recovery. There are two different models within Schools PLP, one called Lincoln Learner and one called Brightfinger. We have access to both and we'll be using both in uh, different ways. At the high school, we'll be using Brightfinger as the primary model. This is what we refer to as a student-driven proficiency model. Students are assigned a normal course load, typically five courses or 2.5 credits per trimester. They progress at their own pace, but accomplish the same number of credits per trimester. For students familiar with the credit recovery process at Gladstone High School, this will feel very familiar. Middle school. At the middle school, we'll be primarily using the Lincoln Learner model. In this model, students are assigned a normal course load. This will be typically five courses. Instead of being completely student-paced, students complete one module per class per day. The time of day is entirely adaptable to the family schedule, but daily engagement is expected. A rule of thumb is to expect about 50 minutes per class, though this will vary wildly depending on the student. Some students will complete the work in far less time, others in longer durations. Student progress is tracked over time and frequent quizzes are designed to give students and families feedback on what grades will be at the end of a term. Final tests appear at the end of each unit. At the elementary level, K through five, we will also use Lincoln Learn. A good rule of thumb to keep in mind is that as students get older, they typically re require less parental support to stay on track. The opposite is true. Gladstone staff will be there to support students and families, but this option will require daily monitoring and facilitating by families. This is especially important to keep in mind between kindergarten and second grade as students are learning to read. The same timing rule generally applies, though there will be fewer classes than at the middle level. Support for students with a variety of learning needs will be provided by Gladstone staff. This may look like modifying the level of pace of work assigned or by small group support. Students with IEP will be supported as will language learners and students with 504 plans. Counseling services will be available as well. We understand that families will still have questions after this presentation and may even have more questions uh, because of the presentation. 
For the short term, please email questions to info at gladstone.k12.or.us. And we will endeavor to answer those questions on the FAQ page on the district website as soon as possible thereafter. Beginning next week, we will uh, transition to questions being di directed uh, straight to building principles. We thank you for your patience and um, bearing with us as we all navigate this new world.